Oh, oh, oh boy. Reethany View Tano here. The internet's... Blah, 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 blah. And it's time for a review of the new Underachievers record, Evermore, The Art of Duality. The Underachievers are a Brooklyn Beep. rap duo. This is their second full-length commercial release, and they initially broke just about a few years ago with a pretty impressive debut mixtape, Indigoism. The duo's two members, is a Gold or is a Dash and AK, brought really speedy flows that cut very aggressively through the incredibly mystical beats on this tape. It was a little all over the place, philosophically, I think, but maybe my main issue with this thing is that it was a little overly long, and uh, while I appreciated a lot of the rhetoric put into the lyrics on this record, I guess there weren't a whole lot of uh, specifics. There were mentions on this tape of, you know, seeing shit with your third eye and kind of just uh, engaging in higher planes of thinking. But it was all kind of engaged with on this really vague level, which was even harder to ignore on the duo's debut commercial project, where they kind of did the, the same thing. Though I did think some of the Underachievers' best songs were on this record, uh, even though a few of the instrumentals and the, and the flows on, on this thing were kind of rough. However, I am happy to report in this review that the Underachievers are now starting to take their philosophy and they're applying it to things that are specific, not just like abstract and undefined personal struggles with growing up in school and family and just trying to stay on the straight and narrow in the city. And also the world at large. And the underachievers approach these topics on this new record over here, Evermore, The Art of Duality. And as you can assume from the title, this project does really have two sides to it. Tracks one through seven have a bit more of a positive mindset. The instrumentals are a little sweeter, a little jazzier, a little airier and more ethereal. The melodies are very sweet and the underachievers lyrically try to sort of point you on the path to goodness. But the rest of the album uh, is actually quite dark. A lot of very grimy, banger instrumentals, violent, hedonistic lyrics, and a strong feeling of negativity too, although uh, a lot of this is framed within the underachiever's usual sort of philosophical, godly, spiritual mindset. So I do this kind of sister two-part record with just different faces, different sides to it. Uh, I'm sure there are a lot of reasons if you were to actually get a hold of the duo, ask them yourself, and there are a lot of things to read into the lyrics, but maybe the biggest point illustrated in the lyrics on this record is the power of choice. Are you doing this thing? Or are you doing that thing? Are you taking this path? Or are you taking that path? Are you bettering yourself? Or are you sabotaging yourself in some kind of way? That sort of seems to be the, the key theme to the song Illusions in the first half of the record, although there is a vocal uh, a clip in the midst of this song where somebody is sort of going on and on about how uh, choice is, is nothing but an illusion, how there's really no such thing as control and we're all products of, of everything that's occurred to us up until this point. Things get kind of existential on this project. But still, the underachievers seem to espouse this idea that you have at least some kind of control over your life. Maybe that's a part of the overall theme of duality, the idea that we have choice, we have control, but simultaneously, the idea that we don't. It's a lot of hippie shit. But it's also really sweet, entertaining, and motivational, too. There are quite a few moments, uh, especially uh, Issa, when he's sort of uh, delivering these more positive lyrics, especially the more uh, personal ones where he's sort of delving back into his past, uh, reminds me a little bit of KRS-One, except the underachievers have a totally different flow style, and their instrumentals are way more psychedelic. Now, as I was saying earlier, the instrumental character of the first half of this record is far different than that of the second half. The first half of this LP, the instrumentals are sweet, 
They're smooth, they're melodic. I love the very smooth jazz rap vibe of the song The Duelist. And the intergalactic pianos and bass on the song Chasing Faith is wonderful too. I also like how we kind of get a similar vibe on the song Illusions, but it's it's even stronger. I feel like as I'm listening to this beat, I'm just traveling through the Milky Way. Ah. And uh, the song Illusions, not Illusions, Illusions on the second half of this record is kind of like the dark, grimy sister song to this track in the first half. So there are some moments where the second half of this record mirrors the first half in some kind of way. Now the second half of this record hits hard. It's aggressive. This is the point on the album where Issa and AK's aggressive flows, their speedy flows, and also their chemistry together as a duo really pays off because it makes a lot of the songs on this side of the record pretty explosive. From the song Reincarnation to the track Moonshot, the underachievers just deliver one banger after another. And lyrically, I feel like they kind of illustrate the flaws of this dark side and just kind of the personality traits of this dark side of maybe this uh, uh, very hedonistic, selfish, uh, kind of violent personality and world. And uh, while I, I think this is not the path that ultimately these two want to go down, I don't think they completely reject it either. I think the idea of this record uh, is, sure, you have the options there, you have the choices there, but simultaneously, nobody's entirely good or entirely bad either. And the final moments of this record, especially the last track, I feel like ties these two worlds together and just kind of the, the two sides of this album, the two sides of this philosophy, the duality, of this album just brings it all together very nicely. Not only an instrumental that, that kind of, I think, complements both sides of these worlds, but a series of verses that I think sort of uh, do a pretty decent job of explaining the whole theme of this album as a whole. Even if I do think maybe the, the, the two songs preceding this track were uh, a little maybe unnecessary. I think this record, in, in, in the same way that Indigoism does to an extent, overstays its welcome a little bit. And there are a few tracks here and there that maybe end a little too abruptly, especially the first two tracks. And I'm not in love with every instrumental. I thought the instrumental on Star Signs was a little, I don't know, I guess uh, disappointing. Didn't really have that strong of a flavor to it, nor do I think it complemented Issa's and AK's flows all that well. And that's another thing. A lot of the flows these two guys use on this record, um, I don't think there's a flow on this record that I hadn't heard on any of their previous projects. To the point where sometimes on these songs I'm getting serious like instances of deja vu back to older underachiever songs. But that's uh, kind of the end of my complaints with this album. Uh, a bulk of this 60 minute record is really good and accounts for some of the best materially underachievers have put out so far. It's awesome to sort of hear music that's actually letting us sort of peek into the mindset of Issa and AK, even if what sort of was hiding underneath the, the philosophy they were always alluding to on their previous records just kind of amounts to, hey, you know what, just like make some better choices. While, uh, yeah, that might be like a simplistic, you know, kind of uh, desire or recommendation, they certainly make some wonderful and very inspiring music and, and, and complement it with, with very passionate poetry to make that pill very easy to swallow. There's certainly a lot of room for improvement still, but I think the underachievers have come through with their best projects so far, and they're making some of the most thoughtful and entertaining hip hop to come out of New York right now. I'm feeling a strong seven to a light eight on this thing. Tran. Zishin, have you given this record a listen? If you have, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And um, that's it. Uh, right now my desktop has shit the bed, so um, editing on the laptop for now. All my presets and all my images and titles and everything are on my desktop, so I can't really access them until it's fixed. But it's fine. The reviews are still the reviews. Well, whatever. We're, we're all gonna live. We're all gonna live. We're all gonna live forever.